Good morning. Happy Monday. Derek Sanderson here, Keller Williams Realty in Chico, California. I hope you all had an incredible weekend. Uh, and thanks for tuning in. Let's jump into some numbers and see what the housing market for single family residential has been doing here in Chico over the last seven and 30 days. So as of this morning at about 9 a.m., there's 138 active single family homes on the market. That's good news. That number is continuing to climb, but we are still at really low inventory levels, which makes that a seller's market. The median list price on the market is still sitting at $489,000. But just remember, the median, you take all the prices, lowest to the highest, you line them up, and then whatever that middle price is, is what the median is. So if you have a lot of uh, lower price zones on the market, that median price is going to shift lower. If you have a lot of uh, higher price properties, that's going to shift that median higher and higher. But it kind of just gives you a snapshot of the market as a whole. The average days on market for those 138 homes is sitting at 68 days on market, so just over two months. But the trend that we've been seeing, if you've been tuning in for the last uh, even few weeks and last few months, is that the homes that are selling actually have a lot lower days on market, which we'll jump into in just a minute. So uh, in the last seven days, we've had 22 new homes go on the market here in Chico. That is good news. I'm gonna take that down so you can see all of me. Uh, Pending active under contract. So we actually have had 20 homes go off the market in the last week because the sellers accepted an offer in one way, shape, or form. And we've had 21 close in the last seven days here in Chico. Now here's the thing. You gotta remember that those homes that are closing now, those escrows, those offers that were accepted and escrows opened, uh, they started roughly 30 to 45 days ago, and now we're seeing them close today. So it's a little bit of a snapshot about what's going on in the market 30 to 45 days ago, and of those homes that actually closed, because we have seen homes falling out of escrow because of COVID-19, people losing their jobs, income becoming unsteady. So uh, last 30 days. Let's take a look at that real quick. 88 homes have sold in the last 30 days. That's kind of hovering about our average. Uh, but here's what's incredible. So the days on market average for those 88 homes is only 30 days. Compared to the homes that are sitting on the market right now at 68 days average. So what that tells me is, is that if homes are priced correctly for the current market we're in they're going to be sold quickly. That's how the market works. So if you have a listing on the market and it's been sitting for more than 60 days and you haven't had any offers, you definitely need to have a conversation. Honestly, I started having that conversation at day seven to 14 in a normal market with my sellers if no offers have come in. Uh, the average list price and close price, I don't know if you remember last week if you tuned in, but those numbers were really skewed because there were a couple of very high, high price properties that sold. Well, this week, uh, it also shows three extremely high price property, priced properties. So we're still sitting at about 500000 for the average sales price and list price. Here's the deal. I took those out. Uh, I'll add those in the comments Really what we're sitting at uh, for the average list price in the last 30 days is just over $465,000 and the average close price at four, just over $463,000. So all that to say, homes are going at, at asking or very, very close to asking. Again, that's if your home is priced correctly. Hey, I hope you guys have an incredible week. Uh, if you have any questions about anything real estate, uh, definitely reach out to me, even if it's related to lending or anything like that. I'm obviously not a licensed uh, loan officer. However, I have a relationship 
with a lot and I can get you the answers or direct you to the answers, uh, the people that have those answers for you. Otherwise, please stay safe. I know we're going stir crazy here at the Sanderson household, but let's all do what we can to make sure that we are practicing social distancing, keeping ourselves safe and those safe that we care about. I'll see you all again next week.